Hey everyone, Nimgobur here and I thought that I should make this small unboxing video IRL of the QuakeCon uh, limited edition thing or there. Now since I'm a big nerd and I like Doom, I thought I should make this small video, plus Recon is uh, gonna be out pretty soon. It is not as, as exciting as the other Recons that have been going on, but well it's Recon, uh, no not Recon, QuakeCon, and I got this thing. And I think it's pretty cool. And also this is not like a high quality unboxing video. It's just literally me sitting on my floor and opening this box up. <laughs> anyway, it's as always licensed by Bethesda. The, the, and the box includes the rotating Quake Con, or well, the quad damage symbol from Quake and the uh, NML pin, whatever that means. Basically, this pin is made of iron and it's like very small. I don't know. Anyway, it's 17 plus right here. I'm 17, so <laughs> I guess it's fitting. And yeah, let's open it up. Oh, actually, let's check out the box around as well. So there's the QuakeCon symbol over here. There is a small information just like on top over here. And this is what it includes inside. Another symbol. And additional like company information or whatever. All right, I didn't bring any scissors on it or anything, but the thing over here to open it, right, is pretty straightforward. So I guess we're gonna be men and use our nails <laughs> like any sane human being would do. Okay, I will probably skip through this one. <laughs> All right, so I opened it up basically. And so I have one complaint right off the bat. Maybe it's due to the fact that QuakeCon is gonna be not as exciting as the other ones. Basically, it, it will be a two day event instead of a five day event. But um, the box is pretty lame. <laughs> as you can see, it's just cardboard and that's pretty much it. And I'm saying that because compared to the limited edition Doom Eternal uh, items like the watch, I got the black one by the way, which is very cool. And the box for the metal keycard, and it is actually metal. And it's also a limited edition over here. Uh, they all have like a lot smoother packaging as you can see than uh, this box over here. All right, enough of me rambling and just, well, let's open up the box. Okay, I see. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use magic to open up this box, so. Yeah, so as you can see, yeah, the, the box is now open because I used magic on it. How cool is that? And yeah, right off the bat, I can see that, yeah, again, I, pr I just proved my point. The packaging is pretty lame, but I mean, you still get the product. It's still like packaged like safely in. So, you know, let's check this out. So here's the Bethesda thing. Here is, oh man, I think I'll have to <laughs> censor some of that. Maybe. And now there are the instructions how to use it. Wait, there are no on off switches? Why? All right, so it's only a USB powered thing. And apparently it comes separately from... And apparently it comes separated from the uh, platform over here. All right, you know what? Let's actually open up this. Okay. Let's open up this pin. There you go. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. Like it's very small, right? Compared to my thumb, for example. But, but it is pretty nice. Yeah, I like it. I'll open it up later. So here's the USB. And yeah, I, I have that coordination now because I'm just watching this through my phone. I got the USB cable and now let's pick this thing up. All right, so I safely got it out of the box, this platform over here. And now since this thing right here, right? Alongside with the pin, is a limited edition kind of thing for like in the Bethesda store and since it's limited edition it probably has a number saying like uh, where you were in the place when buying uh, this product and by that I mean that basically they're telling you what number the product is that you bought. For example, my metal keycard right here has a number. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, there you go. It's 1,404. So this is the 1,404th one that I bought. And this watch over here, I believe it's 200th watch that I well, got. 
And now let's see what number is the uh, actual product over here. If it has any. Alright, so it's not on this thing, as far as I remember. Yeah, it's just because it's well, it's a rotating thing. It should be for uh, display. So I think it's somewhere at the bottom. It's number five of three hundred and fifty. <laughs> is it? Is it really that bad? Like, is this product really not that exciting? Because I think it's like when I was searching in the store, I think it, I thought it was very cool. <laughs> but it's it's still pretty. Uh, pretty amazing the fact that I was the fifth one to, to buy this product. <laughs> I mean, and I'm pretty happy with uh, the entire product that uh, are right here. No, nothing seems to be damaged or anything. It all looks pretty fine. And yeah. Alright, I'm gonna open these things up from their plastic um, cages in right about now. So, uh, yeah, I opened the, them up using magic, of course. And now, yeah, about the the like the symbol itself. So uh, when looking at the product product page, I thought that it is like just plastic, which is hollow inside, and I mean I just proved my point. But I mean yeah, again nothing seems damaged and not, nothing like seems very bad about this whole thing. And you can see here there's like a small like rubber-ish kind of uh, coating over here for a nice smooth stand and the symbol itself which I will just put on right in a second something like that yeah I, I think this is just pretty straightforward really <laughs> okay so the stand doesn't like this thing doesn't rotate on its own which means that there is a lock mechanism inside so yeah you will basically have to time it when pulling the USB out of your powering thing for example, the computer. Yeah, and to, to make it face forwards. Well, I mean, it is fine. But yeah, I mean, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I think it's pretty dope. And now let's power it up and see how it looks like. So let's activate it. Let's let's see, see how it looks like. It's very hard doing it with one hand. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Look at that. I love this thing. <laughs> now, as you can see, the like the theme of the quad damage uh, symbol from Quake is pretty weird, and the whole reason is because well, it's taken from classic Quake, the the first one. So all the like texture over here that looks like you know a kind of damaged iron, and all these like um, polygons that you can see over here, um, they're just made with the classic Quake aesthetic. And it's colored orange because, well, it's QuakeCon. There's a small symbol over here. The uh, whole plate over here rotates. And yeah, it, I think it's dope, to be honest. Like, it, I would happily put it like near my computer or well, laptop, I don't have an actual PC. It, the only like negative thing I would say about this rotating stand is the fact that it makes a lot of sound when like when rotating even like rotating at this uh, very slow speed it still makes a lot of sound so if you're like in a quiet room this can re really drive you crazy but i mean in general it's fine if you're like you know uh, putting it near your computer desk and you're in headphones just working or making music or making videos or whatever or just watching videos i think this is just fine this is, this, is, this is completely fine but i mean in general i think it's pretty dope i got the thing that i paid for so i mean i can't complain it's a lot smaller than i expected but it's still very nice as you can see yeah compared to my hand there it is it's pretty small let's hope that there'll be something very cool in quakecon and yeah all right thank you all very much for watching my name is nimble and i'll see you later